Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and yes, I'm enjoying Twitter a little bit. These days I'm not on Instagram, not on LinkedIn or any other social media. I've been just playing around with Twitter to see how is it and now I'm, I think I'm in the portion where I enjoy the developer community and I'm sharing some thoughts as well. And this is where I thought something interesting caught my eyes and I thought this deserves some more attention from JavaScript community. And since I'm a part of this community, I thought, let me just introduce this thing which is happening right now. So a lot of people probably are not aware of this, but JavaScript is actually, a name is actually a property of Oracle. Yes, Oracle holds the right of it. Not just it, Java also. I'll share that in a moment, but first let's understand the context. I'll keep the video short so that you just get the attention what you really should be listening to. So this is by Sid. He's actually a fantastic guy. He worked at Cloudflare in the past. He is a creator of a couple of things. So if I just go ahead and open up his profile, he, he is a pretty fantastic guy. He is building Rust for GS Dev. Previously, I've worked with Gatsby and Cloudflare. Pretty fantastic profile and amazing dude as well. Uh, so he just said that he he actually is uh, owning a company. He's trying to build a product or company or a startup something. Not aware in too much of depth what he's trying to build, but definitely worth checking it out. A big shout out to him. And he says, uh, dear Rust for JavaScript developers. So his company actually includes the name of JavaScript. And that's where Oracle jumps in. Ha, <laughs> guessed it. I would have already guessed it. I'll tell you why. Because of one such incident that happened to me as well. So Oracle actually shot a notice that, hey, really would like to haul this, complaint against your company and all of that. Uh, so this brings to the point that does really Oracle owns JavaScript? And yes, that is a concern. A lot of people in the JavaScript community has raised this concern in the past as well, that since Oracle holds it, that's why a lot of people like to call it as ECMAScript. But now the things are out of the hand of Oracle. That's why probably now they have getting started and probably a lot of people might receive some copyright notice on the JavaScripts from Oracle. This has happened to me in past as well. I was teaching on the platform Udemy and, and Udemy, not just me, a lot of other fellow creators who were teaching Java at that point of time. I remember there were a couple of Cave of Programming and other popular YouTube, uh, not YouTube, but uh, popular JavaScript community people. They also received a copyright notice from uh, Oracle on Udemy courses because the Java keyword and the logo of Java was used in the cover picture of the course. Yes, and we literally had to go up and uh, just change all of the covers of the courses where we didn't include any logo of Java. Come on, we are teaching Java and we cannot include that, but okay, copyright is copyright. So we just said, all right, let's just go ahead and change this. But this is again getting started. So I can imagine how many copyright notices all the people are going to receive, including me. I also run a lot of JavaScript courses on YouTube. I also uh, run a lot of products and courses on JavaScript. And this is going to be a fun situation in the future. There's a lot of threads going on that what is happening, how it is happening. Uh, so this is really ridiculous. If you look at this one here, uh, man, this is interesting. Rust for ECMA. There are nice suggestions here. Uh, Rust for JS maybe. <laughs> oh man, this is good. This is interesting. It's just a complaint or is the same as lawsuit. Uh, eventually it will turn into a notice and something if you don't change it around. I have faced it once, so I recommend him to change it as quickly as possible. Uh, they own the rights to the word JavaScript itself. That's absurd. That is absurd. But absurd is the new normal of this internet. This is crazy. Uh, I think I think more discussion is required on this particular thing. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this uh, owning of JavaScript word by Oracle? So <laughs> things might change in the future if Oracle is going in that aggressive direction that, hey, let's just sue all the people who uses the word JavaScript or just teaches the course or just hold the JavaScript name in their company or their open source project and whatnot. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about it? It's going to be crazy world.